Remember, Julian, best behaviour out of the wake because everybody we know is going to be there. Sorry to hear about you, Dad. Thank you. Oh, Mum, can I ask a question? If it's sensitive. Some of the kids at school were talking about an um, inheritance. Did Granddad leave me any money? Fucking unbelievable. <laughs> Hi, love. Hi, got another bereavement card. Can't tell you which from, though, can you, love? One of Dad's friends, perhaps? It's just squiggles. Or they're illiterate. Or it's just a dodgy prop. Anyway, your brother will be here soon. Is that the one they nearly had the threesome? Shh. I just hope it's not going to be awkward, darling. Of course it won't be awkward. Oh, Matt. What should I say? Hello, sailor. Pat? Brother. <laughs> Welcome ashore, Captain. Just what we need. More seamen. We'll give Dad a good send-off. And look, I bought the ship's cat with me. I thought we'd see how she gets on with Jess. We might make some kittens. <laughs> well, I think it's love at first sight. <laughs> and yes, we could do a pussy gag, but instead, let's reflect on the fact he's harmless because I've had his fucking nuts cut off. Unlike Dad, of course, whose tackle was in perfect working order. And if you weren't careful, he'd get it out and show you. Oh, yes. What? Show you his penis? Oh, do tell. Hey up, Dad. What are you doing in the road? No, oh, hello, son. Well, I was on my way to Aldi to get some tinned fish and cabbage and the bloody car broke down. I've told you, you shouldn't be driving at your age. Why they haven't taken your pissing license off you, I'll never know. Don't worry about me. I've been driving longer than you were and itching my scrotum. Fucking unbelievable. And no, I don't want to see your catheter. It may surprise you, but not everyone wants to see your penis. It is amazing, though, as you get older, you know, how your body starts to let you down. Mm. I mean, I still can get an erection, but masturbation takes an awful lot longer. Dad, I am not happy having this conversation. You are in your 80s. You should not be fucking talking about sex. All I can do is talk about it. Oh my, if it isn't Matt. Oh, good to see you again, Vicar. You old pervert. <laughs> Less of the old, if you don't mind, Matt. You still boying those dirty magazines? Purely a phony search, I can assure you. My condolences about Brian. Your father was a good man. I lived next door to him, you know. Oh, the stories I could tell you. When we were younger, two young studs out on the pool, looking for the punani. What's the punani? Is it a curry? No, but um, it can look a bit like a kebab. <laughs> or a bearded clam, or a tuna taco, or beef curtain. God, will you stop going on about your demise? Look, son, I'm serious. When I'm gone, I don't want Savage buying my car. I know, you've told me a dozen times. She is a classic, and I don't want a twat like him driving her. She'll be yours for a long time yet. Good morning, Pot. I see you've got your father with you. Is he okay? Yes, it's that classic car of his broke down again. I swear it's as unreliable as the fucking government. But anyway, here's your post. Here you go. Can't see the point. There's never anything in it. It's just a prop. And uh, talking about um, props, what did your dad say about the car? Yes, he said thanks for the offer, but unfortunately he can't sell it to... What was it again? Oh yes, a cunt. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, did he ask again? Hope you told him what for. Yes, I told him. I said it's not for sale, ever. The man's a bully, like his father. And he used to bully me at school. Only one way to deal with bullies. That's right. Nowadays you have to say, you are infringing my human rights. Please remove yourself from my personal space. Your fucking generation. I was going to say, kick him in the bollocks. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two, mic check. Sorry. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Arthur, are you going to sing us a song? Sing? Well, me? No chance. Oh, that's a shame. When I get that feeling, I want sexual feeling. I want... Sex, she will heal any sex. Sex, sex. Oh, her first words. <laughs> testing, testing. One, one two, 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 two. Pert, Matt. Hello. Hello again, Vicar. 
Yeah, thanks for this. Here's me, Dad's ashes. And, uh, well, you would appreciate it, even though we didn't believe in God. Oh. <gasps> no, you're right. Well, he thought it was all bollocks. Mm. He may not have been a believer, but thank you. And a special thanks to the local prostitute. <laughs> Definitely somebody there that believes in the second coming, if you know what I mean, Vicar. <laughs> well then, three cheers for Brian. Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Can I just ask, have you got any idea why we dressed as fucking pirates? Yes, because Rude Guy cut it from a different episode, hoping no one would notice. Thanks for the lift, son, and uh, it was nice spending time with you. And you, Dad. Are you sure you don't want me to see you in? No, I'm going to go and make a fruitcake, and uh, hopefully I'll still be around this time tomorrow. You'll fucking outlive us all. <laughs> I wouldn't want that. Just promise me you'll look after my car. Dad, for the last time, I give you my word. Right. I think that's it. Lovely. Pat, your dad loved this. God rest his soul. Indeed. Oh, shall I do the honours? Oh, my oh, oh. oh, good. For fuck's sake. Oh, maybe you've got shit in your carburetor. Oh, how often do I have to do that? Oh, but Hang on. Oh. That's a fucking bird's nest. I remember Dad said a bird shit on his bonnet once. Aye, and he never took her out on a date again. <laughs> oi, oi. That's better. Oh, she's like, um... Fucking grease lightning. <laughs> This mackerel's not too bad after all, is it, Jess? Maybe Dad was right. Good night then, Pops. I hope you're having a laugh up there, but uh, we miss you.